very clean, Ridge. It looks so clean. You've got no water spots on the glass. It's cleaner than mine. That's right there. What do you think of that, John? <laughs> Woohoo! It's the dirtiest single lane road in the universe. Watch that horse shit there, Ridge. What I say in the county? Watch out, there's a big works. one there. <laughs> John, where are we going? Uh, we want to head. Mate, I want to get on, back hold on, hold on. I'm sick of this Left, now. left, left, left. Jesus, Watch man. Watch that. <laughs> John! <laughs> Look at the turds. I can hear him. There he is, the little dipshit. <laughs> right, let's roll, let's roll. See if I can get any good footage of Reg first thing in the morning. How you doing? Two seconds. Two seconds? Oh, I could put the alarm on. I thought I, I thought it'd make good footage of you first thing in the morning. Like you never know, Reg. Yeah. What I want to do when, is Reg's top ten detailing products. Have, have a look at the car. And there's Reg's car. <laughs> looks very clean, Reg. It looks so clean. You got no water spots on the glass. It's cleaner than mine. Right, yeah, lovely. Lovely, the alloys look nice and clean. You can't stop, can you? You can't stop no, the inside that of those, those. You just can't. I cleaned all mine out and they're just going like that as well. Yeah. There's nothing you can do about that unless you change the brake discs. Well, I probably will change them eventually. Yeah, maybe. You yeah, can see I've brought some ones up with the special coating on there. Have they? Exhaust tips are looking nice, Reg. Very nice. You can change the settings so this door isn't locked by default. Oh really? Yeah. Oh, that's pretty cool. Oh. <coughs> so I'm here in the Regmobile. All right. We're on our way to a secret location. Me and Reg know every single eatery, breakfast eatery, <laughs> from here to like the in south the county, of London. Yeah. Home. We've just, we could rate them all. So Reg, the one we're going to today in, in Witterings, marks out of 10. Marks out of 10, I'm going to say ooh, probably like a seven and a half. Strengths and weaknesses. Strengths, brilliant breakfast. Good portion size. Weaknesses, size. just it's a bit crammed in there. But other than that, I mean the food outweighs that, doesn't it, really? It's good portions, that oh, always does portions. well, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. there's nice quality food as well. Get coffee like. thrown in. And how did your stomach fare after those two sausages we had from Patisserie Valerie that tasted mm. a bit dodgy? Yeah, luckily I wasn't sick, but they didn't taste right, did they? No, they didn't, but I was okay as well, I think. And they, Reg is, well, careful, it's wet today, Rich. I know. Reg is driving like he's trying to get past something. What is that? It's an MX-5. This is a brand new one, it looks a yeah, bit funky. I like it. Those lights are a bit funky. No, that, it looks like a sort of a pearlescent white or a silver. It's got a silvery tinge to it, I really it? like that. I think that's a, that's a funny way to... Why is he... So, so, you, so you can see. I used weird. to have to do that in the van. Right, so what we're going to talk about, your car is very clean today, Reg, very, yeah. very clean. It's, it's in fact, I'll give it immaculate status. Well, virtually, I virtually, consider it's not freshly clean, but it's, yeah. well, about a week or so, it's well, nice I did it and on clean. Saturday, but I haven't cleaned the interior it's in a long time. Cleaner than mine, mate, it's cleaner than mine. Um, your steering wheel is starting to go shiny. I know, I need to get some leather wipes. It's impossible, though, it will go shiny, yeah. no matter what you do. It's just the oils in your hair, yeah. isn't it? But, it's, you know, any grease on your hands would turn wear gloves, the wheel. gloves of the time. But some, people, some, people, some blokes do, don't they? Some, some of them, yeah. But to be honest with you, I don't plan on keeping this steering wheel forever. I'd like to get one of the Alcantara ones, the performance steering wheel. Yeah, and some wear point, them. There's Alcantara. They're yeah, great when they go on the car, brand spankers, and then yeah. like six months later, they look like they've been manhandled by Popeye. True, but you can you can maintain them just with a bit of you know microfiber cloth and some water, but. Yeah, you're right, they do I've they got do an Alcantara go. cleaner, you can colour lock do one. But, oh, nice. But uh, it's just, I think it's just a mild soap, mm. mild detergent. Anyway, Reggie, let's talk detailing. Yeah. So, I'm going to hit you with a category of product, and you've got to tell me your favourite product in that category. All right. Okay, here we go. We'll try, we'll try and do ten. So, first up, pre-wash snow foam. 
pre wash snow foam, I would go for probably. Is there a difference between like a pre wash snow foam and a main snow foam? Are we talking like your main Sorry, snow foam? Sorry, this here? could be a long fucking video. I'm, I'm, just, I'm just saying, like, is this going to be your only snow foam you use or like a. Just pick a pre wash snow foam. I'm going to say it has to be Auto Glim <laughs> Polar Blast. Auto Glim Polar Blast. Yeah. Good choice, Reg. What, what, what do you like about it? I like how foamy it gets. Yeah. Foam, um, foam flavour, man. Don't seem to have to use a lot for it to foam, to foam up. But no, it's, it's very it's, thick and foamy, isn't it? It is nice, that foam. Yeah, it is thing. nice. It does leave a, love, a lovely layer of foam on the car. Whether that actually aids it does, your it's, washing... It's something know, about it when you there, lay that fluffy layer yeah. of foam over the car that it just feels nice. But I, yeah, It that, looks I, nice as well. The neighbours love it. Do they? <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's when everyone asks you to clean their car oh, as well. Damn, that's the worst, isn't it? <laughs> well, the worst one is when they come up to you and say, Cool, you'll wash the paint off that. Yeah. And it's yeah. like, really? Really? <laughs> yeah. They have no paint left. Yeah. Um, okay, snow foam, that's good. What about shampoo, bucket shampoo, you know? Ooh, bucket shampoo? Soap. God, anyone's gonna think I'm sponsored by Auto Glim here. I do like there's I like a lot there's a lot of shampoos that I like. I like Chemical Guys Honeydew. Yeah. That's a great one. Not bad. That's one one of the first ones I actually ever bought when I first got into detailing. Um, the second one would be uh, probably the Auto Glim uh, high definition shampoo. Auto Glim. This video is sponsored by Auto Glim. I just really <laughs> like it. I just really like it. You it know, is it's, good. It's, it's very luxurious. The smell of it is just of it's great. unreal. It's, but it has some lovely It's nice suds and thick. It. Yeah, it's a great shampoo, isn't it? Yeah. I said I think the only reason you wouldn't use it is because you can get things that are good that are cheaper, but it is great. Yeah. So, okay, so that's Snow Foam Auto Glim, uh, Bucket Wash Auto Glim, APC. What APC do you use? APC. Do you care? Do you just will I don't use really anything? I use an APC, to be honest with you. What? That's the most. All purpose cleaner, yeah. I'd be, I'd... When, the, when do you need to use an APC? Like when, when you need to clean something. Well, no, but I clean the car with the in the method, you know, the snow foam, but then you you wash bucket and then yeah, you, you dry. You, you, when do I use an APC? It's like when you want to clean anything, like basically anything. Yeah. Like it's just a bit of cleaner. Like yeah. if you want to clean the dashboard down, you wouldn't even need to use APC on this because it's clean. You would just wipe this with a wet cloth. But over time, even when I'm touching it, there, there's a bit of grease building up, and you get little yeah. fingerprints. No, so you're right. I, it's I a actually, bit of APC. When you clean, you always want APC, a bottle of APC, yeah. whenever you're cleaning the interior. Perhaps I'll look into Under the that. doors, you know, in the door shuts. Um, even you can use them. You know, if you, if a good APC, I think, when it's at full concentrate, is a degreaser, basically. Yeah. And then when you use it at a very low concentrate, it's basically like a very mild, it's basically virtually all water, the tiny bit of, uh, you know, product in there. So it's just enough. So it gives you a bit more kick than just water. And then you've got all the way through to a midpoint. And you want to be able to spray APCs and work them with brushes and all That's that sort true. of stuff. So you, you don't, I'll tell you what, Reg, I'm not kidding. It's not a bad answer to say I don't really care. You know, I don't really care as long as it works and it's decent and there's so many. Yeah, um, I, I haven't really, I would probably use something like Built Hamburg. They Surfix. Do they, they're, they're, they're very powerful Surfix one. Pro, that's the one. Very I've powerful. I've seen your video on that, and that's a, a pretty you any, uh, If you haven't got an APC, I'm sure I've got a spare one you can have. All right. Um, right, so that's APCs. Fallout remover. Fallout remover, right. That's a good, so moving on from wash to decontamination. I would always use Car Pro. Car Pro, uh, Iron the X. Iron, the Iron X, I really like I, that. Iron? Iron. Iron, you're the Irish. Iron X. <laughs> Iron yeah. X. It's hard to say it, not with that. No, not that hard. Twang. Iron. Yeah, Iron X, yeah. Really like that stuff. Also, Very good. Their, yep. their tar, uh, what was it? The one I've got, the. Triple X or something. Triple X. Is that, is that a new, that's a new um, GT, I don't know, it's a new Fire Series. That is it? Is it G30? Is that right? Don't know, actually. No, G. Is it the big 90? nostrils? I, don't I can't know. remember. Okay. Um, no, that one hasn't got the big nostrils. Oh, okay, so it's not the latest model then. Well, it's actually the current 5 Series, yeah. Is it? I don't think they're... Um... They didn't go overboard on the old, uh, the old grills. No, no. We put sure. two Blackwall Tunnel holes. So, come on, Reg. Um, the tar and glue remover. Yeah, I'm going to go for the... You um, go for the Car Pro one as well. Absolutely. You can, like, I've, you I've like... just bought a fresh bottle of that, and it's, it's really strong. 
and it works. Does it? it stinks. I mean, it should, so it should work. A tar and glue remover should always work, shouldn't it? Because yeah. it's so easy. It's a mineral spirit most of the time. It's exactly. Just, it's just how powerful it is, really. Do you want it really strong, or do you want it a bit safer and a bit milder? Mm. It's a personal preference, really. But yeah. If you're removing heavy tar spots, that's when you really want it strong, because it just mel instantly melts it off. But when you're just trying to get a a general light layer of tar off that you can't even see behind the wheels or something you might want something a little bit small, uh, smaller a little bit it's less, less potent okay exactly. clay bars clay bars now do you care do you care or do you just use any i would you know anything decent i mean what was the one that i bought from uh you bought a clay cloth did you, from i bought a clay cloth from where the same one as Elite car care, yeah. yeah. It's decent clay coffee. Yeah. So I used to use clay bars and I didn't really pay attention to what they were. Um, I just would get the clay bar and use it with the lube. Um, but uh, the clay cloth is quite a nice solution because all you need is a bucket full of soapy water. You, you get know. around the car a lot quicker, can you? Oh, definitely. It's did you really notice nice, any? Actually. Did you notice any sort of hazing of the paint? The problem with white did is you're you? not going to see it, are no, you? No, no, no. But you can in the right light. Yeah. Especially, yeah. You, I didn't know. So you did it nice and light. You know what, yeah. I did it. If you keep that that cloth full of water, you know, nice and like. Rinse it out every yeah, couple of every water. every panel. Give it a clean out. And you just don't put any pressure on it, and you just. Go That's really the key. You want to feel the bite, but you don't want to. Push it, force yeah. it into the panel. If you force it into the panel and rub it around, do some damage. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Okay, so that's covered wash and decon. Now I want to move on to abrasives. What? You know, you you use polishes every day, but you don't have a lot at home, do you? Because you don't really. You don't. You have some polishing gear, but that's where you're at home. You don't have all the setup for polishing, do I don't, you? Don't. I only have a, a rotary, and to be honest with you, it was potentially a mistake to buy a rotary for your mm -hmm. first polisher. But because you've got a great it's bargain really... price, Reg. I gave no, you that no, 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 I meant as in from a detailing perspective. Yeah, I should have yeah. bought a dual action polisher. I don't know about that. Though, because Reg. I'll tell you what, there's something about a ro rotaries are good at taking out sanding marks, but I'm not sure. They will, or you can polish up the paint with them awesomely. Or heavy contamination. I think a dual action polisher. Heavy scratches. A dual action polisher with a medium cut pad. It's so slow nice, though, isn't it? Like all in one polish, like so next. If you've got finish, any swirls in that in want. that in that one forty, and you want to take them out with dual action polish, that's a major pain yeah, in the ass. It all depends on the comp. The thing is, it's all about the compound you use. The compound is does. If you put, a, it doesn't matter what polish you use. If you put that on the panel with a foam pad with nothing on it, what's going to happen? Nothing. It's all about the well, compound. We've got to turn the machine on first, Rich. Yeah, exactly. But it's all about the compound. <laughs> so um, I would, I, I'm going to invest into a dual action, maybe like a Daz 6 Pro. Yeah, they're good, they are. Yeah. Are we going the right way here? Probably. No, we're not. We missed the turn, didn't we? we? just drove straight past the oh, turn. Oh, no, we're on the way to we're, Selsey now, aren't we? Right, so we want to... Do you it. can uh, do a right turn later on down down yeah. to Silisham Garage. You can I was get so across into, that way. Uh, into conversation. I uh, lost focus there. Love, ooh, so we're moving... Yeah, beautiful. Lovely. That's. I bet that's come from Targa Florio. Oh, holy cow! Red, slow down! Oh, God. God. Did you do the old twenty pound challenge? <laughs> yeah. You stick a twenty pound note oh, God, on a dash. Yeah. And if you if you can reach it, you get it. Right. Right. Polish. Though you're not really too fussed about polishes. No, but what I was like I just said, if I could recommend something my opinion you know this is all very subjective there's so many compounds out there there's so many different there's so many different like pads out there and stuff there is what it's I, ridiculous it is, what i would use is a hex logic medium cut pad with a yeah, das yeah. 6 pro a sonex perfect finish just a nice all-in-one polish men's and do some really lovely polishes yeah yeah you know they're all gonna work yeah, I'm exactly. Sorry, but they are. Of course they so, are. Yeah, exactly. You know, they all they're all abrasives. It's I'll tell you the main thing nowadays is the pricey pricey. Yeah. Because pricey pricey is sneaky uppy. Exactly. And it's getting ridiculous. These people gotta make money, right? Some Actually, of these polishes. Right yeah, you, you can go, go this, this way. way, yeah. Some of the oh! <laughs> John always overreacts when I drive. It's unbelievable. <laughs> he is the worst passenger. Seriously. God. Right. Well, yeah, so would you be if you had to put up with this? Well, that's a subjective. <laughs> Absolutely lethal, Rich. <laughs> Slow down. Okay, next question. Next question. I'm enjoying this. this um, is it's Targa Florio there, Rich. Oh, have oh, you been in there? Should we just have a quick sneak? No, no, no keep no, going. No, I'm hungry. I'm hungry. Just have a quick sneak for the viewers. For the viewers? Oh, oh look, a car. Was it was, yeah. Very nice. Actually, we can. We can go in on the way back if you like. I need some food, though. 
Um, right, we've done polishes, abrasives, pants and wear, which is yeah. quickly covered. Yeah. Now, how would you recommend to people that they protect their car? The final, the LSP, the LSD. Right, there's a couple of ways you can do this. You can go down the, Let's go the most here. extreme. Sorry, Reg, sorry, Reg, come on. You can go for the most extreme route, which is obviously a ceramic coating, but that requires perfect paint. And well, it doesn't careful. really, you can slap it on anything, well, no, can't you? Want, no, but if you want the best oh. uh, finish, like obviously your yeah, should be probably, polished up nicely, yeah, yeah. and it needs careful application. But yeah. personally, I'm old fashioned, you know, like for someone who sands and polish cars every day, like I don't have the energy all the time to spend hours on my car. So you know what? You could just buy a nice paint sealant, like one of my favourites is Kevin Guy's Jet Seal. It does the job, you does, apply it, yeah. you know, it's a good paint sealant. I think everyone is obsessed with hydrophobicity now. They are. And if a product doesn't, I've seen people put products on cars and then because it's not sheeting water, um, think that the product has failed, you know, and it, it, it might even be like a, a coating which is, or a sealant or something which is designed to do a year. Hmm. But it's not hydrophobic and put and you know people are saying look it's sheeting water off and it's only been on two weeks it's failed well it probably hasn't has it it's not that difficult yeah. to make a sealant which will last a year nowadays they've been around for donkey's years um so this is the problem the market has got isn't it it has to make something that's hydrophobic or people 99 percent of the customers will ah, I think it's failed <laughs> you're right it's almost like an illusion, isn't it? It's like if it if yeah. it beads, it's, it's, that that sort of that indicates that it's either working or not to most to most cars, people. But it, it doesn't. It, it, well, it's yeah. More than that. It's like a barometer, isn't it? Yeah. Um, exactly. So, would you prefer a traditional paste wax or a sealant now? What do you way of doing it? I think both. A yeah, nice either. sealant first, and then a lovely paste wax, carnauba wax on top to give it that gloss. Yeah. You know, I'm very old-fashioned. Like one of my favourite products is Auto Glue Super Resin Polish. Oh it's yeah. It's been around for how long has it been around for? This video was sponsored by Auto Glue. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> and no, but it actually is. There's, there's three or four video, three or four Auto Glue products. Now they're good. I've been, I'm I've, sorry, but they make. I've opinion, still got all Super Glue Super Glue Resin Polish. They make some great products. And they do. I do think they need to come up with a new abrasive. But other than that, well, they just have Reg, haven't they? Have they? They don't have a finishing polish, so they have these kind of one stage. Yeah. They've got like an ultra, uh, a more aggressive one stage and, and, a, and a normal one stage if you like but the rapid renovator plus is very good so basically yeah I would recommend using a nice sealant like a and then a, a paste wax or what I do is use also glim super resin polish which leaves a lovely lovely glossy finish you can just leave it at that with super resin polish but you, you can also put a bit of wax on top to sort of um and are you fussed about which wax uh, my favorite wax I've got two I've had both of them. I've got yeah. one of them. The first one is Peaks 53 by Kevin. Oh, Price. lovely! Yeah, it's it's, it's not, not a durability. No, no, no. It's a it's a show wax. Not cheap though, is it? Well, that's it's 30 quid a tub. Oh, that's okay. Yeah, I that's mean, you know, nice house, that is a beautiful house. Holy moly! Um, yeah, 28 pounds. And then what? My other one is um, the R Triple Two wax Carnauba. You like that, don't that you? Is, uh, also so you so wax. you don't want. When you use these waxes as toppers, you don't care about the durability. You just no. want a nice oily, glossy wax. Exactly, because you know part of the fun for washing your car is that waxing wax. it at the end. Yeah. That, for me, that's all part takes, of the experience. Takes, takes a long time, though, doesn't it? Takes it? a long time, but when you... After the novelty or that's worn off, you just yeah. want to get something on. That's why I think people are moving over to these SIO Who materials, because you can lay them down quickly with no buffing, exactly. no like, oh, curing. I forgot about those, yeah. We, we haven't spoken about that, have we? I well, mean, obviously you've got now's the, your chance, Rich. You've got your Geon wet coat, which I really like, but yeah, that's I great. don't think it lasts very long. Well, they've just got, I've got the new Geon wet coat. The yeah. old one I thought did three months, or definitely did two to three months. It's lovely. And then you might want to top it up, but you don't, you don't do it, you spray it and rinse it off. So it's yeah. like, it doesn't matter if it doesn't last long. Exactly. The problem now is like, We've got so many products, we want to put something on our car every time we wash it. It's Absolutely. Moved, moved away from that old principle of put down a wax and then use everything pH neutral so you don't um, take it off. Don't strip your wax yeah. a bit quicker. It's not like that now. You just clean it with something that cleans well, and then you've got like these SiO2 things that you can hurl on each wash. And they are good as well, those SiO2 products. They're expensive, but the price would just keep coming down. But, it will just keep coming down because everyone's offering them now and, and every time someone brings one out typically someone will play that game again a bit lower 
and you can get them more or less the same price as detail sprays now anyway That's so true. would and you recommend putting a wax on top of a, like no. a wet coat or something i know some people do no you get all this whole layers of protections with non but ceramics it's not going to do any harm though is it it's not going to do any harm but you're wasting your time you'll make more t contact with the paintwork more chance of missing bits you know whenever you're laying a wax down yeah. or have it look smears you can't see and stuff yeah i think um i don't know when you wax you want to just do it properly and go back over the car when you're finished with a clean cloth and just go over the whole lot again and do it just 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 a light white and a little torch sometimes as well look for look for little smears um you don't have to worry so much with those sio2 detail spray Jeez, things wow. okay reg so now we're finishing um i don't know if that's every detailing product covered but um i hope you find this video useful guys any any opportunity to squeeze in a video and we're supposed to be going god knows where the hell we are <laughs> completely lost <laughs> going cross country here but uh, we are we will eventually reach our destination and have a good fry up anyway guys um that's a goodbye from me and goodbye from him see you later adios look at that that is a breakfast right there what do you think of that john <laughs> Get this old camera. John, I'm gonna get he's out. just cleaned his car and there's all horse turds Why everywhere. Why are you going Look, down this road? What is he's having a meltdown? What I've just cleaned the car and you've <laughs> taken me down literally <laughs> the most dirtiest single lane road in the universe. Watch that horse shit there, Rich. I was gonna say in the county. Watch out, there's a works. big one there. <laughs> John, where are we going? Uh we wanna head. Mate, I wanna hold get on, back hold on, hold on. sick of this. Left, now. left, left, left. Jesus Watch man. That. <laughs> John! Look at the turds! It's obviously been raining, Reg. That's the big one that went out. Oh, Jesus! Mate, you're getting it was worth, chips on my Reg, No, you're not. It was worth it just for that little bit of acceleration, wasn't it? No. Now, tell the viewers, how good was that fry-up? It was amazing, yeah. Really, really it was good, good, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, it was fantastic. Right, now, this, this where, are we, where are we? Where are we? Isn't her so fantastic. Where are the we? Sat nav, well, apparently there is a road. We are. Oh, for God's sake. There's I know. I don't worry, you got here. Move over. He'll you move better. over. Oh, I'm just not recording. Oh, well done. Thank you so much. Oh, oh geez. John, don't ever take me down this road ever again, okay? <laughs> <laughs> it could have been worse. You could have just gone through that puddle down there. Look. I want to get out of there. Yeah, we don't. Calm down. Uh, you've pushed me over He's the edge. Anxious. He's getting you've anxious. You've pushed me over the edge, Ed. Uh, Ed John. Ed. <laughs> you've pushed me over the John edge. <laughs> it's hot. I've got to go to work. Oh. <laughs> right, have a look at this, people. John has made me take a detour, right? <laughs> this car was spanking. This car was literally clean as a whistle, right? And look what he's made. He took me, made me take a random detour. Look at my arches. Look at the mud in there, yeah? Look at that. John, look what you've done to my car, mate. Yeah, there's the stone there, look. You'll pick it out with your fingers. I can't. Give me some. I need some tweezers or something. Look, look at this. What all for what? I never take roads like that. Reg, come here, look. Show the viewers this. Right, bring the camera down. Oh no, it's gone. Oh, I can't get there. Yeah, you're going to need some tweezers, mate. Oh, no, actually, I know. I've got some. So let's oh, just have on. a look. Let's just assess the oh, damage. Shit. Where's my wallet? Dirty, dirty, dirty. Really need to give this a bit of a clean now, Reg. <laughs> That mud really, mud and white never look good together. Right, I'll see you later, John. Disgraceful. Thank You're not. I'm letting you on my channel, Thank a detailing so channel, I've had such with this a lovely, car. Lovely day. It, you could have I even. Was in such a good you could have made an effort and cleaned it for the channel, right, for the I'm viewers. Go now. So I'll see you guys later. Take care of yourselves. Thank you very much. I'm gonna go home and clean it. Adios. If there's any tapping coming from the other side, yeah, I'll let you use know. a key. I'll send you the bill. See you later. <laughs> About ten minutes after I got home. He sent me this picture <laughs> on Facebook. He cleaned the car up <laughs> before he <we> got in. <laughs> he 
cleaned it before he got here. <laughs> and it was filthy. And I'm just editing the video. <laughs> Where was I when 